This is the Retirement Key Podcast with Abe Abish, founder of Abish Financial Services. Thanks for joining us here on the Retirement Key alongside Abe Abish, financial advisor and founder of Abish Financial Services. I'm Heather Branch here to ask Abe for his insight and ideas on the things that you can be working on now in effort to better prepare for your financial future. The retirementkey.com is where you can go to begin your own conversation with Abe and his entire team. We, of course, also have links posted in the show notes, so you can just click there if that is more convenient. Or again, find us anytime at the retirementkey.com. As we are now in officially 2024, there is lots to come in the new year, sir. But as far as goals that we have for 2024, it's always an exciting time for, I mean, especially for you. You've been talking to people the past year and 2024 is their year. This is the year they're going to retire. You've been helping them prepare and it is go oh, yeah. time now. But of course, yep. there are, as always, question marks on things that we have to note and address and, and deal with. The idea of interest rates coming down is a big mm-hmm. conversation that I think we're going to be talking about a lot in 2024. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. want to get your thoughts on that. We're going to talk about that here in a few minutes. But first, kind of starting off with the idea of New Year's and, and resolutions. And of course, a big resolution for everybody is always about life, improving your life in some way, shape and form, whether that's getting in shape, traveling more, seeing friends more. It's all about that happiness factor. So the idea of where you come in, figuring out our finances and the work you do. And the question so many people have is how much money do you need to really feel happy? There was a new survey conducted. They found that baby boomers feel that they need about $124,000 a year for happiness. However, millennials say they need more than half a million dollars a year. Talk about a gap in generations. The poll also shows that there is one thing that all generations have in common. More than 70% say having a financial plan can help bring a sense of security. And this is, again, where you you come in. Because we think about retirement plans, the plans you create. You work to create things like income to add more security. So how do you work to do that? Add these extra layers of security and also figuring out how much money people are going to need month to month in their retirement. Yeah, great questions, Heather. And no better time than the beginning of the year just to wipe the slate clean Mm -hmm. and set goals, right? And we talk about, you know, goals wanting to be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, timely, smart goals. Goals that aren't down on paper are really a pipe dream in our opinion. So financial goals are at the top of the list for people as they head into a new year. No better time to really get uh, a clear picture and to take action on what your financial goals are. And tons of people that'll be retiring this year. And I believe there's a stat that that says that 10,000 baby boomers are still retiring daily for the next seven years in a row. 10,000 people ages 55 to 70 are retiring daily for the next seven years in a row. And uh, so we got our work cut out for ourselves uh, because the majority of our financial planning and retirement planning industry does not help people to successfully retire. Mm. They help people get to the top of their own retirement mountain. They help people to save and accumulate wealth, grow their investments, grow their portfolio and their nest eggs. All of that's fine. But then people are typically lost when it comes to successfully transitioning into work. How do I take this big bucket of money, Abe? How do I take the last 30 to 40 years of my work and turn it into an actionable, well thought out plan Mm -hmm. that I can use with myself and my spouse and family? Uh, So I don't have to worry about money and worry about running out of it at the same time. So there's all kinds of things going on. In 2024, we have another presidential election, all kinds of uncertainty always, especially in a year like this. But your financial plan, your retirement plan, your roadmap to a successful retirement with dignity and confidence does not have to be one of them. If it's not one of your goals right now, put it down on paper to get your financial house and life in order. So when we're talking about guaranteed income and retirement and having a roadmap, you know, the the more guaranteed income you have in retirement, the better, right? And so we often talk about, Heather, are discretionary expenses versus non-discretionary expenses. And ideally, as a firm, we're meeting our clients' non-discretionary expenses through as much guaranteed income as possible. So non-discretionary expenses are going to be your expenses that those bills have to get paid every month, right? That's not that random trip to Italy. You can just say, well, we'll spend 30 grand on a nice trip this year. 
but next year we won't do that right that's that's discretionary non-discretionary is you got to pay the electric bill you got to pay your rent or mortgage you got to pay the light bill you got to buy food and pay for all the utilities and those bills do not change your property taxes do not change matter of fact they probably only go up over the years as your property values appreciate in value so the more income you have coming in that's predictable and reliable, the more pressure that is going to take off of your portfolio. We just had a couple come in from Fairfax, Virginia with $2 million accumulated. Fantastic job of saving, getting to the point of retirement. Now they're only 36 months away from fully transitioning into retirement. There are seven on our risk scale. And you also asked Heather, how much does someone need to have saved and how much does how much income does someone need on a monthly basis to really live kind of comfortably? And they need about eight thousand a month. We see that a lot. Six, seven, eight thousand, sometimes ten thousand a month that a couple might want or need in retirement to live comfortably. And typically to create that type of income, someone would need to have saved. I know it's a big range but usually in between a million to $2 million. And if you've got over 2 million and you got your spending in check, uh, you could be off to a, to a fantastic retirement as long as you're not spending too much, right? Right. And taking too much risk. So they came into our office because they had no plan to successfully transition from their working career into retirement. They had no plan to turn this big bucket, this $2 million bucket of assets and net worth and accumulation into an income plan, a well thought out, actionable income plan. You know, when our clients come in, we ask them, what do you want out of retirement? What does your ideal retirement look like? And then they start listing all the things that they want to accomplish. We take everything that they say they want to accomplish, traveling, spending time with the family, gifting, hobbies, charities, and we make that happen by creating the income that they need so they can do all the things they want to do, right? And, and that goal, those goals and objectives that they have. They were asset rich and income poor. Mm. Like so many people across the DC metro area, so many people have done such a good job saving and accumulating, but they have no income plan. Mm. How are we going to turn this big bucket of money into a well thought out income plan that you and your spouse and your partner can now enjoy the rest of your life? So the solution for them was to create a comprehensive income plan and roadmap, a plan to reduce risk as they're now only 36 months away that's the retirement red zone territory. We're still in football season and it's getting more and more interesting now with playoffs <laughs> and the Super Bowl and everything coming uh -huh. down the pike. A plan to create income. And what we did, Heather, is we actually took 30% of their $2 million. That's about $600,000. And we were able to create a certain amount of guaranteed income to sit on top of their social security checks that really cover all their non-discretionary expenses. In other words, 30% of their nest egg today on top of two social security checks creates all the income that they need in retirement. The other 70% of their portfolio nest egg can sit and it can sit with a lot of pressure taken off of it. These are the kind of things we do. So if you sound like this couple in Fairfax, Virginia, you're in your 60s, you're retiring soon, maybe that's late 50s or even 70s, retiring soon. And you say, you know, Abe, you tell a lot of these stories and a lot of these stories sound just like me. Well, these are the type of people that we help. You are the type of people that, that we help on a daily basis. You know, 55 to 75 years old, a million to $3 million accumulated without a plan to take your wealth and, and assets and turn it into an actionable income plan. Without a plan to protect yourselves from all the things that can mess up this great accumulation plan. You have the assets, you have the stuff. Do you have a roadmap? Do you have a plan for income? Do you have a plan to successfully transition into your golden years? So if you sound like this couple in Fairfax, Virginia, you have a few million dollars saved, you've got an accumulation plan, you've got a wealth plan and investment plan, but not a plan to take this wealth and turn it into actionable income that you can enjoy over the rest of your life, a roadmap to successfully transition into your golden years. Go to the retirementkey.com, click on the contact us tab at the top of the page, and we can begin to have these same conversations about a retirement roadmap with you as well. Of course, we also have links posted in our show notes. So you can just click there if it's more convenient for you to reach us that way. Or again, find us anytime at the retirement key. Dot com. The latest inflation numbers, fortunately, they've come way down. We're at 3.1% down from the high of 9.1%. That's where we were in June of 2022. So with that news, Wall Street is hoping that 2024 will be the year that interest rates start to come down 
And here is former PIMCO chief economist Paul McCauley on CNBC with his thoughts on that. The Fed is finished tightening. That's the big issue. The debate now is all about the timing and the magnitude of the easing cycle to come. And we'll be starting the new year, I think, with a warm and fuzzy tone, but not an urgent tone from the standpoint of cutting. So the idea, though, about interest rates and with the work that you do helping folks plan for retirement is how these high interest rates have actually created a lot of opportunities for investors and retirement savers and people in retirement. So if he is right, will this result in a decrease in some of these more attractive rates that we've seen in things like CDs, money markets, treasuries and annuities? And is it time that listeners and, and podcast listeners should be looking to lock in some of their opportunities? What are you telling folks about all this? Yeah, great questions, Heather. You know, a lot of those instruments you just mentioned, treasury, CDs, money markets, a lot of them still paying over 5%. You know, we're talking out of the market investments um, with principal protection, still paying over 5%. And that's probably not going to last forever. There will still be opportunities in volatile years and non-volatile years. There's always opportunity. And we're probably looking at uh, continuing to be cautiously optimistic here for our clients when we're looking at a couple different wars, presidential election. Yes, inflation is coming down. Interest rates will be cutting, but that presents opportunities. It presents opportunities in the bond market, could present opportunities in the stock market because the stock market will probably really like that as well. So we just had a couple call in and then come into the show because of this, because they have an accumulation plan, like so many people do. Uh, These are business owners. They're in their 60s. They live in Leesburg, Virginia. They've got 2 million saved as well. A five on our risk scale, uh, running several businesses biggest reason why they came to us is because they have what we call a financial junk drawer. We talk about that a lot on our show. That's that pile of stuff. And right now at the beginning of the year, you're going to get a ton of statements from your investment accounts, insurance accounts, tax reports, stuff everywhere. Mm -hmm. And as business owners, you know, I can relate, you know, because there is so much going on when you run a business. Uh, You got to keep the doors open. You got to pay the bills. You got a huge team that you're accountable for. And you've got thousands of clients, right, that you're also responsible for, in our case, a little over a thousand. So they came in because they have a financial junk drawer, stuff is everywhere, they needed financial advice, like retirement advice. They also needed tax advice and estate planning advice. Uh, We don't do tax advice and estate planning in house. So we referred that out too much cash. I mean, they had variable annuities mixed in there, expensive investments, just stuff that you find when you haven't reviewed your finances in a long time, like mm-hmm. stuff that they bought 5, 10, 15 years ago. People's lives change. People's needs change. You get closer and closer to retirement and you really want to keep an eye on all this stuff. So the beginning of the year is such a great time to do that. So if you sound like this couple from Leesburg, Virginia, and you've got a couple million bucks save, you're a middle of the road investor, but you've got your stuff everywhere, that financial junk drawer, you need to know what you own. Where is it? What's the cost and risk of everything that you own? Put it together in that portfolio x-ray that we want to offer you complimentary. Go to the retirementkey.com, click on the contact us tab at the top of that page, and we can offer you the same portfolio x-ray that we offer to this couple in Leesburg, Virginia. And we also have links posted in our show notes. So you can just click there and head to our website or again, find us anytime at theretirementkey.com. Thanks for listening to the Retirement Key Podcast with Abe Abish. To learn more about Abish Financial Services, visit theretirementkey.com and join Abe for his radio show, The Retirement Key, Saturdays at 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. and Sundays at 2 p.m. on WMAL. Investment advisory services offered through Abish Financial Wealth Management, LLC, number 310633, a registered investment advisor firm. Financial professionals are not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if Abraham Abish is licensed in your state, please call 571-577-9968. Abish Financial Services is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through Abish Financial Services, Inc., Virginia Insurance License, number 127820. Thank you.